to death mark i really want to play this game because spooky visual novels are up my alley okay i heard something already getting spooked um <laughs> that's been two seconds cool spooky isn't it spooky cute Hey, want to hit up the karaoke place? The new Love and Heroes song is out. Oh, cool. Hmm. I'm not feeling up to it today. The story creeped me out earlier. Do you want to hear it? Oh, sure. You remember Miss Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. I heard she's gone missing. What? No one knows where she is? Nope, she just disappeared. Just up and poofed from the library. Was her stuff still there? One of the student librarians said she was researching something there. But then she vanished. Um, but she's super diligent, right? One of the th students thought it- when the students- <laughs> One of the students thought it was weird that she had up and leave like that. So he checked in on her. But when he did... <sighs> Gross! The only thing left was her arm. Holy shit. It had her, had her really weird scar on it, so it was definitely her arm. Looks more like a tattoo than a scar. A scar? Yeah, it looked like a dog bite. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. For real? There was a scar like that on Miki's leg, too. Huh, Miki, wait, that's... The girl who went missing, yeah. Oh, weird. That's crazy. Maybe that rumor is true. The one about the cursed scar? Cut it out, you're scaring me. Oh, he's got one. I hear snatches of an idiotic ghost story. They're speaking seriously, but it's obvious they don't believe a word. They're only killing time. Rumors are the best way to do that. The sun's about to set. It's gotten later than I planned. I shouldn't have stuck around to hear that story. I'd better hurry. Ooh. Thunder rumbles in the distance. A mansion? Spoopy. A huge mansion is in front of me. Strange. I'm sure I was just... My vision blurs. My ears are buzzing. Ugh, my head is swimming. It's almost like I'm drunk. What time is it? I glance at my wrist, but my watch is gone. Did I put it in my coat pocket? But all I find is a business card. In elegant printed letters is a name. Saya Kujo, spirit healer. Oh my gosh. On the back is a photo of the mansion. I guess this must be Kujo Mansion then? Kujo Mansion. Saya Kujo. Those names sound familiar somehow. One way to find out. Taking a deep breath, I reach out to knock. I stop when I see something on my wrist. Hee <laughs> it's so cool. It's a strange scar. When did that? I could just be imagining this, but I feel an icy chill when I look at it. Nice. 
very aggressive knocking. My fist pounds on the door. No reply. Oh, no. A light appears in the second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for them to hear me knocking. I grasp the doorknob and find it unlocked. No point in staying outside. I'll just go in. I'll apologize to the owner later. The inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's dead silent except for the constant ticking of a clock's second hand. I must be in the entrance hall. The atrium extends to the second floor. Anyone home? There's no reply to my shout. Maybe they've soundproofed this place so they can't hear me down here. I guess I need to go upstairs then. A staircase is just visible up ahead. I walk toward it, cutting across the hall. My ears catch a strange noise. I turn to look where it's coming from. Cute. Someone's there, enveloped by the dark. I think they're staring at me. Approach them. Gulping, I hesitantly make my way over, trepidation slowing my steps. It's a young girl. She doesn't move an inch as I approach. At least, it seems that way to me. It doesn't look like she's even breathing. A corpse? Great, I creeped myself out. I start to sweat. What should I do? Um. Touch her. With a shaky hand, I slowly reach out and touch her skin. I'm not sure what I expected, but it feels unnatural somehow. Stiff and cold. I press down on her arm and she makes the strange sound I heard earlier. Ah, now it makes sense. She's a doll. A doll's joints creak when they're moved. That's what made the noise. What a relief. If disappointing. Fair. I carefully begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. As I reach the landing, the sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. It seems to be coming from above me. Looking up, I can spy the outline of a clock. I bet that's what's making the sound. Approach it. What time is it? The noise guides me over. It's an antique grandfather clock. The noise is definitely coming from here. I reach towards the glass to check inside. All of a sudden, it stops chiming. Silence descends, broken only by ticking. <laughs> I'm so stressed out. I guess it's fixed now, but that timing was a little too spot on. Was it really a coincidence? All these strange occurrences make me uneasy, but I continue on to the room with a light. Stopping in front of the door, I knock. But again, there's no reply. I try again several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. Would you go this deep into somebody's home? Like, I don't think I would. I think I, if I woke up and I had like blacked out and found myself at somebody's house, I would have, like, just turned around and left. <laughs> I would have been so creeped out. I wouldn't have gone inside, and I definitely wouldn't have gone this deep inside. Especially not if I found, like, a human-sized doll. I would have been like, nope. Mm -mm. No thanks. I push on the door. It's dark inside. Strange. I definitely saw lights on in here when I was outside. Yeah... Did he get the room wrong? 
Wafting through the room is an odd smell. It's sugary, like a ripe fruit. The whole room is permeated with it. Some kind of aromatherapy, maybe? It's not a particularly pleasant smell, though. The aroma draws me further into the room. I'm, like, trying to see something in the dark. <laughs> the floor under my feet feels off. Gross. It's wet. Double gross. It dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in with the sweet smell. I know the scent. This metallic tang. What the fuck was that? Lightning flashes and I catch a glimpse of something. The starting, startlingly grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. Something strange is there. Uh, I want to see it again. <laughs> oh, it's a woman's body. It's so bizarre I can't stop staring. What the fuck is growing out of her? Blooming flowers are everywhere. She has both of her arms, so this isn't the student they were talking about. They're bursting out of the woman's stomach. Her blood-soaked body overwhelms with them. I wrench my gaze away, horrified. But the hellish image is burned into my mind. I can feel my entire body shaking. Bile rises. I'm going to throw it. Ooh, the fuck? That's so bright. Please stop. Where did her body go? In the next instant, the lights are on. Wait, that's not all. The body is gone, leaving only a stain. What the hell? This doesn't make any sense. It's a bad dream. At least, I'd really much prefer it if it was. But the faint smell that remains and the blood stain crush any hope I had of that. Hey, <laughs> my heart is beating so fast. <laughs> I beat a retreat from the room in an effort to escape the whole bizarre situation. Oh, the lights are on. When I stumble back into the hall, the lights are on in here as well. I decide to have another look around. All the furnishings in here are old enough to be antiques. They match this old-fashioned mansion. Oh. She's so pretty. A large doll sits on a couch. This must be the figure I saw in the dark. One would easily mistake this for a human if they couldn't see the ball joints. Probably belongs to the owner of the mansion. So what do I do now? Contact the police? Her stomach was full of flowers, sir, and the corpse up and vanished like fog. Like anyone would believe that. Yokoso. Welcome to Kujo Mansion. Oh, she fucking blinking. The doll moved. It spoke. A different kind of shudder runs through me than the one I found, than the one when I found the corpse. Up until this point, I was nothing more than an observer to all these freaky events. I could distance myself from it, but now. A doll is talking to me. Have I startled you? If so, I sincerely apologize. My master ordered me to behave as normal doll as a normal doll until told otherwise. The words are elegant and refined, but her face never moves an inch. She may look human, but she clearly isn't. So does she not have to move her mouth to talk? She slowly folds her hands together, so she can move, too. I'm sorry for not introducing myself. I am called Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities here already. I see. My master, Saya Kujo, was unable to escape from the mark then. Oh? So the person who called us here also was marked? Saya Kujo, does she mean that corpse? But wait, what's this about a mark? Lady Saya was searching for a way to escape the mark. 
Were you not also called here by her because of the mark on your arm? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my god, do you see all those hands and stuff in the background? That's so creepy. I maybe see a mouth, but I definitely see eyes. Gross. She must be talking about this weird scar. Did Saya Kujo invite me to this mansion? When I try to remember, my head hurts. Interesting. I have something to tell you in place of my late master, but I'd like to ask one thing first. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a much simpler question than I had been expecting. It's... Can we not remember? I break out into a sweat. My throat is drying up. Why? Why can't I answer? I'm shocked to find I'm coming up blank. I see. Then it is as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what's going on with me. Before I offer an explanation, please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier if I have a name by which to call you. It's also likely you'll find it hard to remain calm if you're nameless. Interesting. She's probably right. Better to have some placeholder name than continue life as a hollow nameless being. Up to ten letters. Wow. Oh. Um. Am I replacing this? <laughs> La <-shiki. laughs> The, um, the controls are a little weird. I wonder if I should be playing with a controller. Um, we'll just leave it at lane because I'm okay. Too lazy to, um, fix it. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't read that it was supposed to be the last name. All right, let's just leave it as is. Whatever, I don't care. It doesn't have to be my name. It will be Yashiki. Yes. Yes, that's fine. Kazuo. Yeah. Kazuo Yashiki, okay. Can't be changed after this. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, cool! We could, like, change how he looks. That's cool. I know. Oh, I see. We've got four options. Um, I like this one the best. It looks the most like a person, I guess. Is it okay? It cannot be changed later. Yeah, that's fine. I'm Kazuo Yashiki. Understood, Lord Yashiki. Now, I shall explain to you about the mark. It's the seal of death. Those who have it will soon die. That's not good. You do not believe me? I am certain this sounds absurd to one who has led an uneventful life. However, my master's death proves it to be irrefutably true. What a crazy way to die. The corpse's sweet stench comes back to me. That didn't seem like the work of humans. I'm afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. Uh-oh. 
it seems like we're pretty bad off in the memory department. They face death all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. Memory loss. That can't be. That means that I'm... Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Lord Yashiki, you... will die this very dawn. Wow. Dun dun dun. Wow, okay, so. Not only are we gonna die, but we're gonna die very soon. My memories skip forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. I can probably attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. The next thing I know... There's no more bloodstain. I'm lying in a guest room in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point, and thanks to that, I feel a lot better. I'll die at dawn, huh? Yeah, I don't think you should be sleeping right now, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> I think um, letting the time slip like that is a bad idea, but okay. I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't say it feels real yet. It doesn't make sense. W way out of the blue. But if it's true, is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? It might be a good idea to ask Mary more about it. music. I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. I doubt a doll gets bored waiting like humans do. Good morning, Lord Yashiki. Are you feeling better now? Um, sort of? Wonderful. Since it appears that you've calmed down, I'd like to ask a question. What will you do now? I can guide you down only two paths. The first is to wait for death. The second is to fight the mark. Can you help me? If that is what you wish, yes. My master was researching the mark. A few days prior to her death, she found a way to escape it. Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. So she doesn't know anything after all. There's some time yet before dawn. You have a slim chance. Salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. Would that you would grab hold of it, and I shall do my utmost to help. What will you do? I guess it boils down to whether I trust her. If she's right about all this, my time on earth is up at dawn. If I don't want to die, then there's no other choice but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying... I'll be fine when morning comes. But am I really all right with that? People are being killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? That sucks that he watched, lost his watch. This is life or, this is a life or death decision. I need to think about it carefully. Live or die. Deadly choice. You'll be faced with choices that can result in death. There is limited time and your soul power will continue to drain. Eee! Time's up or wrong answers will result in game over. So be quick but also careful in finding the right answer. Restoring soul power. Completing a deadly choice will restore some soul power. Accelerated dialogue. Dialogue will be sped up while pressing Q. But certain dialogue cannot be sped up. Backlog. The W will display previous dialogue. Auto mode. E will activate auto mode. Hiding the dialogue window by pressing X. Then I shall ask you. Will you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? Soul power 1000. 
wait or struggle. Oh, okay, it goes down kind of fast. Survived. Cool. That's scary, but cool. I've decided to trust you. As you say, Lord Yashiki, then I shall carry out the dying wish of my master and aid you. I cannot do much, but feel free to request anything you wish of me. I made up my mind, but that doesn't mean I know what I should do. I know squat about the supernatural, and losing my memory makes research impossible. But I don't have a moment to lose. A knock comes from the front door. Ooh. Who'd come here this late at night? Oh my, what a sign of fate. It seems that other mark bearers have arrived. Oh, interesting. Is it instinct that she knows these things? Maybe she has some kind of mysterious power, being a talking doll and all that. I beg your pardon, Lord Yashiki. I do apologize, but could you go greet our guests in my stead? They may experience a shock if a doll such as myself welcomes them. Moreover, while I'm able to move my arms, I am unable to walk. Interesting. I moved to the front door to greet our guests. People fated to die, like me. I wonder what they're like. Who I find at the door are not who I'd expect to see this late out at night. She's kind of creepy. A high schooler. And a small boy, who's also kind of creepy. These kids have the mark? No way. Um, we came to see Professor Kujo. Who are you? I can't say I'm a total stranger since I'm here in the mansion. I'm... <laughs> Her boyfriend. No, no. <laughs> I feel like that'd go over like a lead balloon. A relative, like a distant cousin. <laughs> oh, so you're her older brother. Your eyes do look kind of similar. She seems to know Saya Kujo. Now that I think about it, that business card did say spirit healer. Going off this girl's accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge occult fan. I'm Loi Watanabe. For a second, I read that as wannabe. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote on OOP. Did I say O three times? OOP. <laughs> Arts Monthly. She pulls an occult magazine out of her bag. Inside is a picture of the mark. The accompanying article says the scar is a soul inhibiting disease that erases memories. Inquire at Kujo Mansion. Um, this is the same scar, right? Moi lifts her skirt up a bit to show me her leg. Right there on her right thigh is the mark. Does it hurt? She looks like she's in pain. <laughs> I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. I've been super forgetful lately. I'm even blanking on my friends' names. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> I'm so forgetful. <laughs> This is scary. <laughs> Do you think the scar is doing it? The article that article is obviously bogus. The young boy scoffs. Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts or curses these days. And a high schooler fell for it. You must feel embarrassed about that. But Tsukasa, weren't you hanging around out in front of the mansion's gate? Fess up, your scar scares you. Tsukasa seems to have no retort to that. He silently sulks. Looks like a bullseye. It's clear they're both mark bearers. I better bring them over to meet Mary. Don don don. Just little babies. Moe shrieks excitedly when she gets close. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's a doll, yeah? I've never seen this one big before. I've never seen one this big before. The craftsmanship is so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. They're both admiring her when... Welcome to Kujo Mansion. What? It, it spoke? With 
With that, the two vis new visitors join our number. They enter the m this mysterious world that hovers on the precipice of death. Mary tells Moe and Tsukasa about the mark once they regain their composure. All about the steady memory loss and their imminent death. It sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains a validity coming from someone like her. Both of their faces pale. Now, if you came specifically here because you believe Lady Saya's article, you must have already experienced the pain of losing your memories. Moe admitted as much earlier, but I could see Tsukasa's face darken. So it must be happening to him too. Hey, Moe, I'd like to confirm something. Where were you when you got the mark? My amnesia seems to be worse than theirs, so they might remember. I'm not positive, but I think my mark might be a curse from Hanahiko. Hanahiko? This name is familiar to me. He's the ghost the resident children of this town whisper about, correct? My master was interested in him. So Saya Kujo was curious too. Could be connected to the mark somehow. I'd like to hear more about this ghost. As you wish, Lord Yashiki. Hopefully Mary helps us remember these things that we learn as we go through this story. Then I should tell you about Hanahiko. Chapter Hanahiko. 1. Is this- is this who we saw in the guest room? Oh, did you hear? About that ghost boy all the schools in H City are talking about? Sounds like Hanahiko is back. I heard that he can appear if you peek in a school mirror at night. He'll ask you something. Creepy. Am I? Pretty. If you tell him no, you'll be fine, but if you say yes, give me that red stuff then. Creepy. And then he just disappears. But that's not all. Hanahiko hates adults, you know. I heard that if the person he asks is an adult, they'll die. And not just drop dead. Their blood is drained from them. And next to the corpse is a single rose. <laughs> a rose dripping with blood. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Rumors can be easily manipulated. Passing from one person to another, assumptions and errors mix in, but they also hold a hint of truth. Miss Moy, do you know anything else? I think I probably got my mark when I was investigating Hanahiko at H Elementary School. This has got to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Why were you at H Elementary? My big dream is to write about the occult, so I'd love to see a ghost. I found this article in a magazine mentioning Hanahiko was seen there. I figured that place would be easier to sneak in than a regular school, since it's been closed down. What should I ask next? Was Hanhiko there? I don't think so, but I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror, but a shiver suddenly ran down my spine. I got spooked and left. What should I ask next? When did you notice the mark? I noticed it later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my thigh. It really surprised me. I realized immediately that it had to be what Professor Kujo wrote about. I think I have a handle on what happened. No way to know for sure about the ghost, but there's no denying she had the mark after returning home from H Elementary. Then maybe... Tsukasa glanced down at his left hand. Mine might be from Hanahiko too. I noticed it after I got home from T Elementary. That ghost has seen, was seen at a lot of schools in H City, right? Maybe he's remembered something. I better ask him some questions too. T Elementary? 
I go to school there. You've probably heard of it since it's the top ranked elementary school in H City. What should I ask next? When was that? Maybe around sunset? I was heading home until I realized I forgot something and turned back. Did you see Hanahiko? No, and I didn't get chills or anything either. Oh, but I think I passed a mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. I don't think he knows anymore. Their stories are pretty similar to the Hanakiwo rumors. It can't just be a coincidence. You must investigate the places where Hanahiko appeared. For their sake as well as yours. Ah, that's all well and good, but... What exactly am I investigating? Death and life coexisting. If the mark originated there, then a way to erase it will also be there. You must find it. Find the key you need to break the mark's curse. That's the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. It seemed that Hanahiko appeared at two schools. Where will you investigate? Um, let's go H Elementary. That's the one that's closed down, right? Yeah, that's probably wise. They'd arrest you on the spot if you tried to sneak into a regular school. A middle-aged man who can't recall his name, let alone his address or job title. I'd have no excuse if I got caught. Wanna get going then? Let's do this. Wait, you're coming too? Uh, of course. I haven't given up on seeing Hanahiko yet. She grins at me. Is she really strong or is this blind optimism? I'm going too. Hey, not you too, seriously? My life's on the line here. I don't want the reason I die to be because you messed something up. That's pretty bold. Good thing you're cute. But to bring kids along with me is... I understand your hesitation, but the mark does not discriminate stealing lives of children and adults. If they wish to fight their fate, you should honor that. I guess that's true. I suppose human logic doesn't fly when dealing with the supernatural. We'll need to prepare ourselves for the worst if we're going to survive. Please take only one mark bearer with you, however. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. I also ask that you not waste time dawdling with others on the way. Is it possible unnecessary contact may hasten the- It is possible unnecessary- Oh my god. It is possible. Unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of the mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. Have a safe trip. Selecting a partner. First, select a mark bearer. Do this in the partner menu. Oh yeah, hey mister. Don't you think it would be a good idea to take notes on what Mary's told us? Your memory's getting worse all the time. We don't want to forget anything. I don't know when I'll lose my memory again. I'll write down all the information I get and keep it in my file. Something in it might just save our lives at some point. That's true. New info was added to the spirit file. Rumors of Anahiko. Other. Spirit file. Important info on spirits will be added to the spirit file. Check it from your bag. Consult it if you need help. Saving and loading. Save the mansion. Save at the mansion or haunts. Return to the title screen from the bag to load. Then choose continue. Alright. Partner. Um. Originally I was thinking that we should go with Tsukasa because he's really smart, right? Even though he's a kid. But maybe it'd be better to bring Moe. I don't know. It just feels weird bringing around a kid. Um, let's go. Moe. She looks like a cat. Partner with Moe Watanabe? Yes. <laughs> Um, let's, how do I say, bag? 
power, intelligence, spirit power, dexterity. Interesting. Letter opener. A pure silver letter opener taken from the mansion's hall. A beautiful woman's face in is engraved on the handle. The blade isn't sharp, but it can handle soft items. Command, stab with knife. Range, short. Interesting. That's our spirit file. Wait. Oh, that's our... Mark. I'm afraid to click this. No! I'm glad it asked. <laughs> um, system. How do I save? Oh, Z to save. Is there in front of my face the whole time. Okay, I'm gonna end this recording here because I'm really toasty and I need to cool off. Um, thank you everybody for coming out and playing with me. I had a ton of fun. I hope you're enjoying this. This is pretty trippy. In the next episode, we're going to go to the H Elementary and investigate a spirit. Ooh, spooky. Um, it's kind of not the season for spooky stuff, but I don't give a fluff. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you guys think of the game if you're enjoying it. Uh, make sure to stretch, drink some water, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right?